Still lots more that are injured and there are still a few that are still missing as uh, many search and rescue crews are going to continue uh, to work through that debris. FEMA Administrator Deanne Criswell and Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas are scheduled to travel to Mississippi today to evaluate the damage and if the folks in Mississippi already don't have enough to deal with, there's another risk of severe weather later on today and later on this week as well and we're talking about uh, strong winds, large hail and even some possible tornadoes as well. Meantime, uh, let's show you some of the video that's been pouring into our newsroom here. And as you can see there, some damage was not only to some homes, but also uh, people's vehicles as well. And take a look at this water tower uh, here. It was knocked over on its side. That just really shows you just the power of some of the strong winds associated by this devastating tornado. And day two of the cleanup efforts are continuing. And let's go to our colleague, Fox News multimedia reporter Rebecca Castor. Uh, she is live there and Rebecca I know last time uh, you spoke to us uh, you showed us City Hall and it was pretty uh, crazy I mean just to see that the building which is pretty much in shambles that's right, Jason, and we can give your viewers another look here at City Hall. I mean, the window here completely smashed through, so we have a direct look inside, and you see the insulation, the debris just all over this office. This is the office of the Director of Public Works, but further back, you can also see uh, the mayor's office, and behind that door, we know there is significant debris in there as well. The mayor, talking with media, has said that the town of Rolling Fork is practically gone. And driving through, that is definitely the way to describe it. It's just this is very much the scene at numerous homes and businesses. It's hard to find a neighborhood that hasn't been touched by this storm. But we actually spoke with one of the members of city council ourselves, and he was telling us that city leaders, they're just now starting to have those tough conversations about what rebuilding looks like. Here's what he says about what's ahead. You know, I, I'm just still in disbelief of it all right now. You know, I don't know where we are go, but we're going we're gonna to put some, we're gonna put it together and hopefully uh, we'll be on the road to recover. Now that councilman there, he rode out the storm in his own house and he tells us that his home is completely unsalvageable. He's been staying at his brother's house across town, the vice mayor's home, completely uh, destroyed as well. So these leaders are dealing with their own personal tragedies. And then further on, they'll be having those conversations about how to rebuild this town going forward. Jason. So, Rebecca, you know, one of the other things that, you know, I know that you have been um, talking a lot more about, you know, throughout not only this morning, but even yesterday uh, is, you know, people's uh, mindset. I mean, can you just talk a little bit more about, you know, how the people have been reacting to some of the conversations that you've been having? I mean, are people still in shock? Are they are they hopeful? You know, are, are they just maybe just looking for answers? How, how have they been reacting to all of this? Jason, it's definitely a mix of emotions out here, but one of the things that we've seen out here that I think really shows the, the best part of the human spirit after tragedy is people coming together. We've seen numerous groups, uh, people that live here, volunteers that have come out of town, setting up food distribution sites. There's one being set up uh, here in the town, uh, heart of the town uh, this morning, people passing out food, giving out things for free um, to people that really need it. And so I think this is going to be a town that relies on each other and uh, gets through this together. Jason talked about how one of the churches was also impacted too there, right? That's right, and, and numerous churches have had significant damage uh, throughout this town, but we did see uh, one church advertise. They had a sign out front that they were going to be having worship this morning at, at 1030. So that's actually, prob that service probably just started a short time ago, and you know, a lot of people are still here in town, um, so they are, are wanting things like that. They're wanting to see a sense of hope and, and come together, so hopefully a lot of folks will check that out this morning. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.